it's Neva from Manic Mama Musings, and it's speaking my truth time. So, um, uh, hardy de- sorry, my nose is itchy. Um, hardy to Mental Health Monday. It is still raining, y'all, off and on. It rained for a while, it'll stop. Water's well, we're not flooded yet, except for well, some parts of town are because, like I said, we're not built for for this much rain. Maybe tomorrow I'll take a cruise and try to find some of the flooded spots so I can show y'all. Maybe that'll be something I can do tomorrow. Part of my speaking my truth. Um, I also want to talk about, um, oh, so I was reading The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and I had stopped. Well, tomorrow, okay, so Lisa from Coping with Yarn is reading E.T. I did not know that was in public domain, so I think that's flipping awesome, y'all, because I love that movie. I've never read the book, but now I get to listen to it. I don't have to read it, thanks to Lisa. So I will put that, her, her first her first chapter or the first part she reads I will put it down below in the, the description box um, for you guys to check out well she inspired me to con- to finish reading Sherlock Holmes and then I'm gonna look for other books but mostly like mysteries I do have Edgar Allan Poe that I still have to read and that's public domain but I don't know how to find out about other ones so I got to figure that out but I would love it if you go check out Lisa coping with yarn um, go check out her uh, video reading E.T. because I just think that's the, y'all I love it. y'all know I love the 80s okay or if you don't let you know now I love the 80s I, I graduated in 89 so I was a child and a teenager in the 80s and a child and a baby in the 70s there you go so 70s and 80s are my jam and especially the 80s because you know I was old enough to I kind of remember some of that I don't remember a lot of stuff from the 70s <coughs> okay so because it's been raining for days and it never does that here I decided the song of the day is blame it on the rain so for you 80s people I think it was in the 80s y'all remember Millie Vanilli that's who sings blame it on the rain there's a whole scandal for those that don't know um, you know, because maybe some of y'all didn't listen to them and other people are too young to know who they are, but they were lip syncing. They, the people that showed on like MTV were not the ones singing. There was two other dudes singing and they were lip syncing even, I guess, in concerts and yeah, a whole big old thing, but I still love the music. So I listened to it. Um, but yeah, so Blame It on the Rain is the song of the month. It'll be in the music of the song of the day playlist. If you want to go listen to my playlist, I'm still adding to it. Um, every time I mention the song of the day, that song will go into that playlist. And you'll see how wide my music goes. I might even throw a Christmas song in in the middle of summer or spring or something because I like Christmas music. Okay. The joke for today. I'm gonna tell a joke. Okay, what's large, gray, and doesn't matter? And irrelevant. <laughs> and irrelevant, get it? I thought that was pretty funny. Elephants are my favorite animal, and so yeah. But I thought that was pretty funny. And irrelevant. Okay. Maybe y'all didn't think it was this funny, but I thought it was funny. And then um, the animal, I have a random fact for you. The animal with the largest tested memory was a border collie named Chaser. He could identify and retrieve 1,022 toys by name. My goodness, that was a lot of naming of toys. That's, That's all I know. That's a lot. So there's your facts and jokes and all that stuff for the day. And, uh, I used to love to play in the rain when I was a kid. Did you guys? And I didn't really outgrow it until I just got so that it was... Okay, I was always out playing in the rain. Unless, like, lightning was striking. Like, literally, the storm was so bad there was lightning strikes. I was out playing in the rain. I love it. And still, to this day, I will go stand in the rain. But I was in my 20s. I think and me and my friend would still like I told you parts of Clovis like flood and like water will be running down a, 
uh, like running down the entire street. It, well, it's not that bad now, but back then it was. And um, so we, me and a friend, we used to go, we'd go like, you know, get a t-shirt and shorts on and a pair of flip-flops and we'd go wading down the, the street because cars couldn't go down it. it. The water was too high. And so, yeah, we would just have a blast. And I'm still a big kid in that way that if I could get, like, if I could sit in a mud puddle, y'all, and still get up, I might do that. I'm too afraid of slipping and falling now, so I don't do that as much. But I will go stand out in the rain if it's not raining real hard. I love the rain. LJ thought that was just ridiculous when we first got together. He goes, you're going outside, it's raining. I'm like, I'm not made of sugar. We should all know that. But, uh. I love to be in the rain. It makes me happy. <coughs> Today it made me sleepy, but happy. Sorry, guys. I'm drinking some London Fog. <coughs> it's throat. I'm sorry. So I think tomorrow I'm going to start back on reading The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. And then I'm going to look for some other books. <clears throat> if you guys could recommend some that you know are public domain that you'd like to um, hear me read, I would. I am all for it. I really like mysteries and stuff, but I'm not for anything. Just not kids stuff because my channel's not... <coughs> my channel isn't marketed for kids, so I've got to go and change everything if I do that. So... Um, I like Stephen King, but I don't know if any of his books are public domain, and I gotta find out how to find, how to how to find that out. I am so sorry. I got um, some Happy Mail. It's just a book, and so I'm not gonna make a whole video for it. Give me just a second. Okay. So Ashley from Stitching It Easy got this book. I got this from Thrift Book. I can't remember how much I paid for it, y'all. I'd have to go back and look. But um, it's quick stitch crochet. It's got quite a few blanket patterns in it. Um, I was thinking like blanket patterns is something I can donate to our homeless ministry or to the women's shelter. They have these bath sets that has, it has a back scrubber, a mitt, like, and then it has the big bag to put all of them in. They have a soap saver. I thought that would be really cool to, for the women's shelter. Um, because I think I'm going to make soap sacks and put soap in them, you know, package soap for the homeless ministry. But I thought those sets would be really cute for the women's minute, the women's shelter. And then, um, they have this cute kitchen set that has a wash rag. And then this, where you take the plastic scrubbies and you make a sunflower around it. And I'm going to make, especially me, some of those, cause I love sunflowers. But, um, I thought that would be cool. And then of course, blankets are always good for the women's shelter, the homeless ministry, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I got to thinking that um, there's quite a few baby blankets and baby clothes that would be real cute to donate to the um, yeah to the women's shelter. My goodness, my brain just went. Y'all know that happens. Y'all must be used to it by now. So Ashley and I have a big announcement about this, but I'm going to contact her tomorrow and talk to her about it. And then I will be making a video specifically, not a really, I mean about this book, but you'll see tomorrow. So watch tomorrow on one of my videos. It'll probably be a specific one called No Idle Hands. So be watching for that. Um, and uh, we're, we're doing something well, kind of with that book. I don't know where I'm going with anything right now, but I'll put Ashley's um, channel down below. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the rain just, it, bring, it used to rain a lot more, it seems like, in this area than it does now, but we are getting a lot of rain this week. And it, uh, my garden is happy. Very, very happy. But I remember playing out in the mud. I remember when my mom would be so happy when it rained. Not just, she didn't like it to rain for days. But she, they had a big garden. And if 
it didn't rain, she'd have to go and water each row of the garden, like move the hose in the middle of the heat of the, you know what I mean? So she was happy about that part. Like it rained, she wouldn't have to do the watering. And that's one thing we're enjoying. We're not having to water the garden because we have to water morning and night because it's so dry here and getting so hot that we have to water morning and night. And so we're not having to water at all. And that's awesome. Not so much about our water bill as it is. It's just, a, it's work. Um, I need to get out there and weed while the ground is soft and pull up weeds. But, you know, I didn't do that today. Maybe tomorrow. Because today I took a nice little nap while it rained. Hearing the rain hit, you know, outside. And I just watching some YouTube and dozed off. I wasn't trying to. No, not at all. Counseling, I was just tired. I was, my tummy was feeling weird. And then um, after counseling, I just kind of got comfortable and drifted off to sleep. So, yeah, when I was a kid, I would run up and down. We had this one house that we lived at that there was our whole driveway was mud. And then there was our landlord's barn. There was a little road that led to the barn that was on the same property we lived on that was nothing but dirt so it was slick mud when it rained and I would literally like run down it and then slide in the mud I loved it I my kids hate to have dirt on them like you know like gardening or whatever and me I loved I loved to feel the, the squishy uh, mud in my toes I just loved it and I would be covered from head to toe and then because it wasn't a big deal because then we had always had a hose outside and you just washed yourself off when in the house it was like going swimming except you're in mud you wash yourself off then you go and you take your bath shower whatever so yeah I I miss that 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 childhood memory like that I did my sisters I was a tomboy my sisters didn't like that as much as I did and I loved it when my boy cousins came because they were all for getting muddy and dirty with me and you know we'd ride our bikes through mud puddles and splash each other and I loved it my sisters wanted to be in the house playing with dolls and I just wanted to be outside just making messes and having a good time they did play some with me I there was this one time I made mud pies and there were these berries on these bushes now no one told my sister to eat them y'all I did not tell her I made mud pies no one should think that they should eat a mud pie okay so I put the berries in the mud pie because it's a, a berry pie you know made with dirt and well mud and and berries one of my sisters ate it and had to go to the hospital and have her stomach pumped I was in trouble but I didn't tell her to eat it. That's, that's my story I'm sticking to. I didn't tell her to eat it. Okay. She ate it. And then I went and told because I knew she shouldn't be eating it. And then my mom and dad freaked out. And the berries ended up being poisonous is the deal. So, yeah. That's one of those times I got in trouble for my sister. Well, it's not my fault. She made that. She wasn't a baby. Okay, she should have known better than to eat a mud pie. Just saying. You don't do that. You don't eat dirt pies. Berries are not in there. You don't eat it. But she did. So, there's a memory for you. I poisoned my sister on accident. She didn't die. And they pumped her stomach and she was fine. It, well, I don't know if she's okay. No. No, she was okay. She's fine. She's still alive. She's had kids. She's okay. But yeah. But she's also the kid that ate a lot of stuff she shouldn't. My parents had to beg her to eat. But she would, you know that stuff that come, the, the silica stuff? I don't know if it's still poisonous. I mean, usually it's like little round things, hard things now that you can't eat. But it used to be little packets of that stuff that kept the shoes dry. She convinced my baby sister it was candy and they ate that. I wasn't around for that one. I didn't get blamed. That wasn't my fault at all. I had nothing to do with that one. She didn't get in trouble for getting my baby sister to eat it. I'm just saying. 
they should have known then. They should have told me they were sorry for being mean to me. Because apparently she liked to eat stuff you weren't supposed to. It wasn't my fault. Okay, I'm telling all kinds of stuff on her. But those are two memories I have. I have where she ate the mud pie I made. And I got in trouble because she ate it. And then there was the time she was, it's candy. And they ate it. I don't, uh, yeah. When my dad would go for training, he would have to bribe her to eat while he was gone. He'd be like, I'll bring you a present. I was always happy because here's the deal. He was bribing her, but he knew he had to bring us a present too if he brought her one. And so we all got a present. So I was okay with that. Looking back on it, it wasn't right. They had to bribe her to eat, but yeah. Crazy. So, I hope y'all liked that that little memory. I'm sure if my sisters are watching, they're like, you're telling our business. Well, it happened, and it was kind of funny. I still remember I used to hide from them. Because I was always in trouble for something that they did. So if I wasn't around them, then I couldn't be in trouble. Just saying. So yeah. Um, what is a memory? Oh, in a bright spot. Let's see. What's my bright spot for today? My bright spot today is, well, listening to Lisa's video of E.T. because it brought back memories of E.T. I love that movie, y'all. I gotta watch it now. Yeah. That, that, that'll have to be one of me and LJ's movies we watch for our movie blanket. Because, yeah, I'm, I thank you, Lisa. She was my bright spot listening to her read ET. And it got me inspired to start reading again. So, thank you very much. That's my bright spot. I do not have a question of the day. I would love it if you would share your bright spots. Tell me if you like the joke and the random fact. And if, you, if any of you remember Millie Vanilli. Um, but yeah, Ashley and I have something coming up having to do with this book, kind of like an idea that came from the book. I'll explain it to you tomorrow. So be watching for that. Um, I will be doing, I dropped my pen. Um, I will be reading, uh, Sherlock Holmes tomorrow and I will still be doing telling my truth or speaking my truth more than likely I will be um, I really am gonna start trying to journal what I want to say so I'm a little more organized because then my feelings can really go into it but I think that talking about memories because you know what the more I'm talking about memories from my childhood the more things are coming back to me so I think that's a good thing I, I need to remember the good and the bad to get past them and so I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying this, but just know that it is also some therapy for me. So, win-win, right? If you enjoy it, and which a lot of people said they have. So that's a good thing. And um, let me know some ideas of something you would like me to cover, a book you'd like me to read. I will add another playlist of videos if there's something specific you want me to do. Uh, yeah, I, I'm open to a lot of stuff. And if I don't want to do it, I'll just tell you, no, I, not at this time, or that's just not really me. But doubtful, I put it this way. If you dare me to do it, it'll probably get done because I have a hard time. That's, I'll let you know someday. That's how I got this tattoo was a don't drink and get a tattoo. That's all I'm going to do. Don't drink and have someone around to dare you. And accept dares while you're drunk. This right here, y'all. That's a funny story I'll share sometime. I might share it with the person that in it kind of been started the whole thing. Priscilla. There, I called you out, Priscilla. Also, I'm working on Priscilla a dress. I've got to kind of try it on her soon. Because if I get too far and it's not the right size, then i got to frog way more than I want to. LJ's birthday is the second, guys. And so on Friday, I have to take my twins to the doctor. Um, they both have doctor's appointments to get um, refills on their meds and um, lab work and stuff. I 
kind of want to do a birthday celebration video with him. But I think we have a family, we have family stuff planned. So it might be either the day before or the day after. Probably the day before if I don't do it on his birthday because he's off. Whereas he works on Saturday and we plan on the whole, you know, we're planning on doing something on his birthday. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, Friday is his birthday, the second. Then it's 4th of July and we are actually going to Freona instead of staying here in town, but that's okay. I'm excited. I still get to spend it with my family and I'm hoping I get to put some of that video in here. I'm hoping my fam some of my family will let me put them in my video, but if they don't, that's okay, I guess. So let me know what you have planned for this week, like what all's going on for the 4th and stuff and tell me your bright spots because I love hearing them. I love y'all and I will be back tomorrow.